May Elohim bless you guys. Today is September 25th of 2021. I have an urgent message that I must share with all of you. Please listen to the message and you will see the urgency in this message. Now keep in mind that the original message that I will link below in the description box is in Spanish. She ended up translating it in English, but when I read it in English, there was many things, important pieces that actually was missing. So many of you that probably read her message in English missed a lot of good, valuable information there. So I was led to translate it in English of its original writing in Spanish. And I have to share this with all of you. So please heed the warnings. You will see the urgency on it. Again, I will link it at below in the description box. For those of you that just want to go ahead and read it for yourself. But please, I just want to point out that the translation that she used in English, many of the valuable information that is written in its original language, Spanish, has it's not there. So those of you that have read it have missed a lot of valuable information. Okay, so I am here to share this message with you that I, I've been having the tug, tug, tug to share. It is so, so important. Here is the message. The title of the message that Sister Monica Gomez, Gomenza Loya, titled, This is the Ring of Fire. I will reduce it to ashes. That is the title of her message. This is the ring of fire. I will reduce it to ashes. When I start to read this, you will start to really get a good, more understanding of everything that's going on right now. With the volcanoes erupting, with many events unfolding this information that i will share will kind of bring it all together listen to what the father gave her to warn his people he came covered with the beautiful light everything in him was shining his glorious presence is so beautiful that there are no words to describe it. And he took me to a place and he was watching the earth and he saw the ring of fire and I heard the Father's voice strongly from the throne and saw his light and he was wrapped in a great light and there was consuming fire around him and the father jehovah of host said unto me this is the ring of fire and he took in his hands of the fire that was before him and he said unto me this is my consuming fire and my consuming fire i mix it with the ring of fire today because it is going to burn the ring of fire and I am going to reduce it to ashes. And his consuming fire threw into the ring of fire. And he said strongly to me, I gave them a time to repent. And the ring of fire will tremble and burn the ring of fire. Different nations will tremble. And I saw the earthquakes they did not wait and they began to travel through the ring of fire and brought devastation and i saw the volcanoes erupting and it was terrible to see because it was wrapped in flames and the lord said earthquakes are going to surround the whole earth and i saw the earthquakes all over the earth and they were strong earthquakes. And he said to me, And the winds will begin to travel 
all over the earth. The great tornadoes are going to begin to surround the whole earth. And so strong were the winds, the hurricanes that began to travel all over the earth. And he said to me, there will be eruptions here and there will be eruptions there and humanity will be more terrified because of the volcanoes. And he said to me, go now. And I saw and it was the sun and saw fire in the hands of the Lord and said, look, this is the sun and this is my consuming fire. And today I throw my consuming fire and mix it with the sun. And I saw him that he threw the consuming fire and saw that the sun began burning in great flames. Great flames came out and I saw great solar flares. And the Lord said to me, and today I cast radiation towards the earth. And I saw the radiation come and it was a lot. And he said to me, and the sun will begin to throw large solar flares. And I saw the sun shine and I saw explosions in the sun. And I saw the solar flares come. And the Lord repeated to me again, Oh, I launch radiation to earth and diseases due to the sun are approaching. I touch the sun today and from now on, it will be a mortal cause to humanity. And he said to me, and the earth will begin to burn because of the sun and there will be an earthquake here and an earthquake there. And there will be eating disorders because there will be a lot of hunger because of the great dryness that is going to come to the earth because the sun will take advantages over the fields. The Lord told me, the sun will take advantages over vegetables. Many grasslands will burn. And I saw the sun again and saw it throwing more solar flares. And I saw the fields burn and I saw the vegetables burn because of the sun. And the Lord said to me strongly, behold, I move the sun. Behold, I shake the sun. When I saw the father shake the sun and he said to me, what is man before me? And I saw the earth shake off and the great earthquake that did not wait. And there were emotional disturbance in the inhabitants of the earth and a lot of stress because of the sun. And it took me to see the sea and I saw the waters changing color and they were contaminating, contaminated themselves. They were murky, black, the waters of the sea. They are going to be contaminated by radiation and there will be great death of fish, a lot of mortality. The Lord told me, and I saw the fish in the oceans, and it was a great death. And the Lord said to me, I will begin to dry the rivers because of the sun. And then I saw as the rivers began to disappear. And then I saw again the consuming fire in the hands of the Lord. And he said to me, this is my consuming fire. And today I mix my consuming fire with the sea. Behold, I touch the sea. Behold, I take away the limit to the sea. The sea will already be touched. And some marine animals, animals that they did not know men, animals that have been there since antiquity will begin to emerge. They will start to come out and come out to the surface and they will be terrified 
when they see what dwells at the bottom of the sea. And the Lord said to me, For I am pouring my judgments. And he said, Today I touch the sea. And I am going to start moving the sea. There and here. And I saw the sea move in different parts of the earth. And I was surprised by the great movement of the sea. And they will be longer. The Lord said to me, Behold, I cast plagues and death. I start moving the sea with my consuming fire. And I saw him throw into the sea from his consuming fire. And I was amazed to see that it brought devastation with it. And he said to me, And the underwater volcanoes will erupt. And they will be one here, and they will be one there. Because, behold, I, I touch the oceans and the bottom of the sea. An underwater earthquake is going to manifest itself because of my consuming fire. And then I saw the underwater volcanoes erupting, and an earthquake that moved to the sea. And the Lord said to me, That earthquake is an underwater earthquake, and the underwater earthquake I am going to move is now. The Lord told me, And there will be a great lamentation all over the earth, and there will be death in the fish and birds. And the deaths of birds in different places will begin. A lot of birds death due to Nibiru that is approaching planet Earth. And behold, it comes from the last of heaven. I bring the destroyer. I am the one who has been attracting it. I am quickly attracting it and my, and my wrath will be consummated because it is the day of Jehovah, the Lord told me. Isaiah twenty four nineteen. Look, the Lord told me, and I saw death on the beaches. And the Lord said to me, There will be an outbreak of marine pests, which will begin to infect earth. With marine pests, I'll infect. The Lord told me, and I saw the sea come out. And that the sea began to infect the earth, and everything smelled of death. Hallelujah. And the Lord said to me, Look, this is the universe. And I saw the Lord and brought consuming fire into his hands. And he said to me, Today, I touch the universe with my consuming fire, mix it with the gravity of the universe. And I saw that he threw his consuming fire into the universe and made it like explosion. And he said to me, today I touch the universe. And I saw that the planets moved. And he said to me, the planets will move here and the planets will move there. And there will be bird death, and there will be fish death, due to gravity on the planets. The gravity of the planets will begin to fall upon the Earth's inhabitants. The magnetic force of the planets is going to reach the Earth directly because I remove from the universe its gravity, because behold, I switch the planets and remove the law established in the universe and the planets will be shaken and I remove from the universe its gravity for behold I move the planets and remove the law in the universe and the planets will be shocked and I remove the tie to the, to the Pleiadras and the planets move towards different position and behold the nations of the earth are going to be terrified. 
the nations of the earth are going to be terrified. They will lament because of the shock of the planets. And woe to the one who says this is a long time left. Losing my children with their lies. Oh, to the one who says that there is a long time left for this to happen. Because they have begun to mention words against my truth. Woe to him who says this is not true. The Lord told me on that day, they, they will be terrified when I enter their houses. When I touch their children because of their unbelief. Earth's inhabitants will begin to be terrified. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. And he said to me, I am touching the foundations of the earth. I am touching its foundations because I gave a single foundation and they rejected my foundation. That is Jesus Christ. He was rejected and now I will touch their foundation and the structure of men that rose up against the knowledge of my truth will fall. Their foundation are going to fall in front of their eyes and they are going to be terrified when they see them fall. Even the scientists, even the wise are going to be terrified. Big businesses, people are going to be surprised when I touch their finances. They're going to be terrified when they see the stock market fall here and see the stock exchange from there because big businesses, people, are going to start falling in front of me and some will commit suicide because they will not be able to bear when they see the stock market fall all over the world and everywhere. Behold, I come with judgment against the earth inhabitants. And the Lord said unto me, I am the Lord of hosts. I am the only true God. There was never another bigger than me, nor will there be. I exist from before the foundation of the universe. I founded all things. I am the Lord of hosts. And Jehovah's day will come. It will come. And if those days were not shortened, no one will be saved. But for the sake of the elect, the days will be shortened. I will shorten their days. The Lord told me, And the nights will turn mornings, and the mornings will turn afternoons, and the afternoons will turn evenings, because the days will be shortened drastically, because it will begin to dawn out of nowhere, and begin to dusk out of nothingness. And all these things are going to start to happen now. And there are going to be events after events. And the Lord said to me, And I am going to move the continents. And then I saw the continents. And he said to me, And I am going to move them out of their place. And they will change their place. They will change their position. And I saw that the continents began to move and change their position. And he said to me, Evil is going to increase so much so that there will be days which will not even be able to get out of so much evil and there will be devastation and chaos will not be long in coming. And he took me to the way again and I saw the church move forward dressed as the bride and so much will be her light advancing forward along the path of the Lord and all around was covered in darkness and I saw the earth suddenly shine and I saw it shine like a diamond and I asked the Lord why does the earth shine Lord if there is so much evil and the Lord said to me it is because my church is shining. 
the Lord told me, and will begin to shine in the midst of darkness, and much will be her light, that the world will not be able to resist it. We'll pursue it, but my church will not be touched, and they will advance. The Lord told me, tell them to resist that little time is left, that the time of the test comes. The Lord told me, I have told you before, that World War III will be after my church leaves. The new world order will already be established to wait for its Antichrist. I'm going to repeat that one. Listen, he the warnings. The Lord told me, I have told you before that World War III will be after my church leaves. The new world order will already be established to wait for its Antichrist. Remind them again of this, that when Nibiru arrives, when Nibiru arrives, when I put the planet Nibiru in front, because I will suddenly put Nibiru before the earth, I will put it myself. A part of seeing Nibiru, a part of seeing Nibiru in that position, it is seven days. It is seven days to prepare that the asteroids will fall to the earth. The asteroid I sent, the burning mountain that John saw in Revelation, chapter 8, verse 8, and chapter 8, verse 10, and chapter 9, verse 1. Woe to the earth. The Lord told me, the Antichrist will manifest after I have taken my church. Are you listening, my brothers? The Lord told me the Antichrist will manifest after I have taken my church. And he said to me, He does not come before the departure of my church. It comes later. And Wormwood will be first. And the Bureau will be later. And events will be seen one after the other. Matthew 24, verse 22. And if those days were not shortened, no one will be saved. But because of the chosen, those days would be shortened. Matthew 24, verse 29. And immediately after tribulation of those days, the sun shall darken and the moon shall not give its light. And the stars shall fall from heaven, and the power of heaven shall be shaken. Then shall the sign of the Son of Man appear in heaven, and then shall all the tribe of the earth mourn, and shall see the Son of Man coming upon the clouds of heaven, with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with a great trumpet voice, and shall gather their chosen ones from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. This is the ending of the message of what she received from the Father. And this is what she added to encourage the church. In the Spanish way, she, she is saying, Oh, Santo, meaning, Oh, holiness. And she is saying, And this is what the Lord revealed to me. She's just exclaiming, like, this is what the Lord revealed to me. Church, we only have a little time left, church. Church, it's already coming. Wash yourself and clean up more, church. Go forward. Don't stop, no matter what situation you are living today. The Lord Jesus Christ said that we are not of this world. He said that we go with him that his glorious church goes with him. Oh, escape for your life, church of Jesus Christ. Live in holiness without which no one, absolutely no one will see the Lord. God bless you, church. 
God bless you. Thank you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit for this great love you have manifested to us. All glory is for you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for being faithful. We love you, the Holy Spirit of God. And that is where she ends her message that I will link below in the description box for all of you to click and print. Again, remember that its ori original language is in Spanish. She ended up translating the best that she could in English. But when I was reading the English one, there was many pieces missing. So I had to retranslate the original um, written message to share it with all of you. May Elohim bless you.